What's up, YouTube? Smells like Vin here, and um, I have a very, very interesting review for you guys today. Um, before I start, um, I apologize for the lighting. Um, I usually do my reviews at a certain time in the day, um, and so I have a like, natural sunlight coming in, and it, it's really good lighting. But obviously, it's not day out, and I have to basically just put this big light in my room like a lamp and just shine it on me so I apologize if the lighting's kinda half-assed my videos are half-assed in general so I guess it's no big deal but uh... today I'm gonna review Electric Wizards Dope Phone released 2000 um... Electric Wizard is a doom metal band from Doris, England and I believe they formed in 93 I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure they formed in 93 um... And they are incredibly heavy. This is due to the fuzzy and distorted guitar sound, um, as well as the the kind of very bass heavy sound. Um, they have made some pretty good albums. I have not heard them all, but out of all the ones I have heard, this has to be my favorite. Don't excuse me. Dope Phone is probably the most acclaimed record, and most people think it's their magnum opus. I, I don't really go by that, you know, what people say, but it it's a great record. Um, now, there are certain aspects of Doom Metal that I really, really like, and it's present, or all those aspects are present in Dope Phone, which is probably why I like it so much. A heavy beyond heavy guitars um the guitars in this album are kind of the main focus and what gives it its its heaviness they're so deep and there's such a big emphasis on fuzz and feedback that it's really hard not to be kind of like taken aback they're so sickeningly heavy and it again it's what makes the record what it is um B, drumming. I'm a drummer, and I have taken a huge, huge influence on drummers like Dale Clover from the Melvins. If you watched my Osmo review, um, I said that Dale Clover was my favorite drummer, and Melvins aren't really a doom metal band, they're more of a sludge metal band, but you get the idea. Doom metal bands use time work a lot and this again kinda complements the guitar and bass because you get this really deep drum sound and again people call, I remember I was reading a review of um, Bullhead by the Melvins and um, some guy called the, to the, the floor toms floor toms of doom doom metal, it's true you know what I mean, the drum sound that doom metals have Doom metals, doom metal drummers, excuse me, really complements the music. So, Dope Thone's really good at that. Uh, and last but not least, the vocals. The vocals are unlike any vocal delivery I've ever heard because basically, they they sound like the singer is in a really tight, confined space with like a muzzle over his mouth. It's really, really strange and it's eerie. It's just eerie as hell. And again, very doomy, very creepy, very atmospheric. Really, really compliments the album. Um the production on this album is where some of my problems kinda start to come along. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad, but when you listen to it what you're gonna be able to hear most is the guitar. The guitar basically eats up and swallows everything else on the album. Not where you can't hear it, but where it's just kind of low in the mix. Um, I think the drums suffer mostly from this. Um, there's a lot of emphasis on the hi-hat in the mix, you hear the hi-hat really cutting through um, the kind of guitar, which sounds great, but the rest of the drums don't cut through the guitar. And 
it is hard to hear the drum sometimes, which, like I said, I'm a drummer, so when I listen to an album, I love to hear the drums, and I really can't too much on Dope Phone, but when you can, they sound good. Um, another thing is the vocals, I actually like the way the vocals are mixed. They are not too in the background, so it sounds kind of like the singer's like yelling through a phone. By the way, the singer's name is... I don't know how to pronounce it, like Juz or like Juice O'Born. I know I butchered that name, so I apologize. But uh, O'Born's vocals, again, like I said, very creepy, very, very muffled um, in the mix, and so I like the way they mix that. Um, the flow is also really good. Each song is different, although still retaining that really sludgy, heavy, low end feel um, and sound. Um, and, you know, again, like I said, every song's different, and there's songs that are progressive, and then there's songs that kind of do the same thing. For example, uh, Funeralopolis, probably my favorite song off the rec record. I mean, that song is just sickening to listen to the lyrics, although the lyrics are kind of the last thing you're going to think about when you're listening to this album. Um, the guitars, there's a sweet, sweet jam session in the beginning of that song. I wish I could put music in my reviews, but I, I'm not a big fancy editor, so I can't. Um, but it, it has like this one minute jam session that sounds very similar to maybe something Black Sabbath would do. Um, and then it goes into just this whirlwind of heavy guitars and and just chaotic vocals and lyrics. Um, the riff is just this stomach churning kind of. It 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 it, it kind of it feels like a big, big mess. Like when you listen to it, a lot of the time the riffs are so coated and slathered in, like, feedback, it's actually kind of hard to make them out. Um, <laughs> but again, that's one of the big draws of this album. It's so heavy, and it's so just dirty. The production is just dirty. Everything gurgles and rumbles. Um, so yeah, best song on this album, by far, Funeralopolis. Worst song on this album, um... Probably either The Hills Have Eyes or We Hate You. <laughs> we Hate You is kind of maybe considered mediocre. Because it, it doesn't change a lot. It kind of just does the same riff and the same vocal melody. But it's by no means bad. Um, And The Hills Have Eyes is just a 40 second jam session. It fades in. Does what it's got to do. And then fades out. It's kind of like a little interlude. But it helps with the flow a lot I find. So it does serve you know, a purpose, um, um, that's it, um, if you are into doom metal, you probably have already heard this record, if you haven't, check it out, do yourself a humongous favor, and just check it out, um, it is, it's really amazing what Electric Wizard do, because they don't just stick to the you know, whiffs of, like, Tony Iommi's guitar book. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of sludge metal and doom metal bands do. It feels like they're just Black Sabbath whip-offs. These guys had a sound, had a unique sound, and they stuck with it, thus creating one of the heaviest and sickening heavy metal albums I've ever heard. If you're a metal fan, check it out. So, yep, Electric Wizard's Dope Phone. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching, subscribe, please give me feedback, um, you know, getting feedback is really good for me, tell me what you liked, tell me what you didn't like, um, you know, keep it to, you know, uh, what's the word, constructive criticism, if you will, and, um, so yeah, give me feedback, and, uh, appreciate you guys watching, you guys take it easy.